Oh, and I gotta get this on. There we go. Um, welcome back to Gmod for a long, long time. Um, I got some mods that finally fit in with something that I was planning to do. Um, just build whatever kind of aircrafts we want on this space build map. Um, and that's, and so far we're gonna try to like make stuff. So first of all, all you're gonna need is the base. And for the base, it has to be a really, really long kind of porch thing. Next, you're gonna be wanting an even longer thing. So going like this instead. This is gonna be your bottom wing. And whenever you're gonna, and then you gotta weld these two together with all of the might of welds. Go like that. And they're not in even shape as you can see, which that's gonna be a problem later on. So let me unweld them. Oh, that one's falling. That one's falling too. Okay, so. Not perfect. There we go. Now, next, what you're gonna want is something, say like, if you want some guns, you go ahead and put them on the edge of your wings. Or you can use these as thrusters to keep your ship going. Personally, I like to keep these as weapons, because I finally got the G-Bombs mod. I can only find G-Bombs before, I couldn't find all the other G-Bombs for some reason. There's just too many. If we just search for like G-Bombs 5, which is what I traded the search for. Gosh, you have to like search through 88 things. It's not funny. Okay, but next, now you're gonna need something to hold those things in place. Why not use these weird things for an example? Then we connect them together. I wish I could really narrow down just G bombs. Because there's just too many dupes. I wonder if you can just get rid of the dupes option. Um, since I don't have a lot of fans that watch my videos, so I don't think the answer's gonna be solved yet. I gotta try to find out myself. And now, for the next touch, you gotta weld these two things that are holding your missiles and the thing that, that launches your missile together. So as the launchers onto the wings. And then you get one of the greatest pieces of art yet. But also, we're gonna need some bombs. Save for like, G-bombs. Oh hey, this is the exact same G-bombs that I had from earlier. So what you're gonna want is some, whatever bombs you may like that are gonna go. This one is not gonna work because it doesn't fit. So we're gonna try the tomahawk. Still too big. We're gonna try the... The three... 30 centimeter missile. Oh gosh, what the heck did it She bombs does that? Aw oh, shoot. I did not know G bombs could do that to you. Let's go on with making another ship. How about more like civilized area? Let's say the base. We're gonna be needing the base for various of reasons. First of all, you need to fit your character into the into the spaceship. So just why not have a base already made just for your character? After after this, you gotta weld them together like it's for your life, because it is. Once you're in space, no one can hear you. So you gotta trust in the strength of your walls. And hope you don't crash. 
And sometimes, as you can see from an example here, your walls may not be working correctly. For that, you may... Oh, gosh. For that, you may connect it like this. The example is that there's not enough floor here. The thing you can do is make that a drop-off point if you made it on top of a planet. Or you can fill that up with more walls. But really, I'm gonna keep it as a drop-off point. Next, you're gonna need some glass that you can just see. And make sure it doesn't break, because that's gonna be a disaster for you. And you don't wanna clean up all that glass, right? For example, I'm just gonna destroy that piece. And replace it with another one that might work for me this time. actually break these windows which is pretty cool. Yeah. Can I bigify this? No. But anyway after that you're gonna weld these things together and then you're gonna need your roof. The roof of your base, your spaceship base, could be anything that you want. But anything, I might choose to have a reinforced roof just in case of any meteors come by. There's no way to bigify these reinforced roofs, so I'm just gonna go back to the general steel roofs. I wonder if this one's gonna work. Looks like it fits. Hey, what kind of ship is this? I probably call this one the hawk because it looks like a hawk. Back part of it. Building's not my passion. But it's sure a lot funner if you make your own creations and put them to use in this game. I mean, you can really do anything without any mods in this game. Just mods make the game way easier. I'm just multi welding these things together so that they cannot just. So it's even stronger than usual. As you can see, I cannot fit through that tiny space except for there. You might be wondering, well why? So for that reason, I'm gonna put... No, oh wait, no. You're gonna need thrusters next. You're gonna need to use one of these things to hold your thrusters in place. Any sort of actually thing that is indestructible will work fine, or you can place your thrusters anywhere. But if you want to make the hawk, that's a different story. The different story is, is that a hawk is supposed to have that like flat back kind of thing for their hair, a bald eagle. And you gotta take all the thrusters you can and put them down evenly. Make sure it's the kind that you like. And you can attach as many as you want to it. But I wouldn't recommend attaching a whole bunch to your ship. Otherwise, your ship might blow up. But however, I'm attaching a whole bunch to my ship just because. And now, for the part that we're gonna need. The hover balls. These balls make your cre creation hover off the ground. You put one right there. And you gotta make them even. You gotta remember that. Even is the key. Even is the key to making spaceships. So after you're done with that... You have this whole entire spaceship to your lonely self. Why not just put in some little decorations or something? Say like a chair. A chair. The most wonderful thing in the world. The chair is camped by through lots of lives in this world. Now they're gonna come back to use by flipping all over the place. And by doing this, you can place wherever your chair wants, wherever you want your chair to be. And then you can keep it there and weld them together with your base. And I don't know how that works with wood and a base, but it works. And next, the stuff that's going to be inside the ship. And if anything inside the ship, you gotta go to your construction props. Say, I'm gonna need some kind of control panel. Let's see if this fits. Looks for like a good tabletop. This could work. Or is there anything better? Wait. Hold on a second. There is something better. Where is it? 
I know you're here. There it is. You're gonna need your engine in order to operate the ship. I mean, that's crucial to your survival in space to keep moving. And since that engine is there, you can do anything you want with that. I mean, you're gonna need an engine for your ship. And now we have to put down that thing that I placed earlier. This weird thing. You place it down. And you right click to keep it there. Then you will itself together. Okay, now you take this and weld it to the ground. So if you want a tabletop, you're gonna need to find something that'll work for a tabletop. For an example, this drawer right here. This drawer will make a fine tabletop. Just hope it doesn't break along the way, but I bet it is, cause that's just wood. And we're gonna be going at light speed here, and wood cannot handle light speed, so. Great job for us. After you got that down, weld the wood to the metal, which makes no sense at all. But the only thing next, you're gonna need now some buttons to get your ship going. There's a lot of stuff that don't press buttons. But next, you're gonna need a button to keep your game all lively up and stuff. Say I put the do not press button right there. And how are wire those to heal? But how do I use this? Do I use the wire mod or something? How do I connect you to something? Do I give you elastic? I don't know how this works yet, so don't... A pulley? No, that doesn't work. Hmm. No, no, just keep a do not press button there, just for all good time use. And maybe, if you want to, some cameras. I mean, what camera's gonna hurt anything? I don't know. So, say you want to take that camera and put it right here. Oh. Say you want to take that camera and put it right here. behind your ship so you can see what's going on. So since that's all nice and tidy, we're gonna weld those two together. And you can make this ship in two days or more if you decide to. And next, you're gonna need another camera. Because this camera is going to be probably another one of the essentials to your survival as well. You got to see how your engines are doing. To see how your engines are doing, you got to do that. Hey, wait, and back to this one. You might have to connect this camera to your ship, otherwise maybe nothing will happen. So... What you need to do is go like kind of through it. You put the camera kind of through the wall. And next, you just unfreeze everything. And if this doesn't work, I don't know what does. That was cool, actually. Oh, now this thing is heavy all of a sudden. Now I forgot to weld these two things together. You're gonna need to weld almost everything you have together, otherwise the ship will not stay in place. These welds are really essential to your survival in any sort of way. So you make sure you to do your best, and I hope you have safe travels out there, because I hope I do too.
so far the base is all done. There, our ship is on fully afloat. I forgot to weld the roof together into this thing. So we gotta weld the roof together as well. Now we have our own ship that can fly around with us. Why is it not coming? get rid of the cameras because they might be causing technical difficulties but yeah after removing them let's see how our ship does this thing. As you can see, you may have may, may or may have not made an entrance to your ship. Well, that's just too bad for you. And so I'm going to get in my chair and start making this thing work! Whee! Goodbye, world! As you can see, now we're in space. The thrusters are causing real technical difficulties right now. As you can see, our orbit's being kind of messed up by these things. Don't mind the thrusters, they don't hurt you as much as anything else does in this world. And as you can see, we are now currently upside down. Is there any way to flip this? I'm gonna flip this thing. There we go. Make sure you have some sort of flipping mechanism. And also to get rid of some thrusters on the way, because you don't want all of these thrusters here. Like I said, too many will blow your ship apart. Kind of like what happened right there. So with an even amount of thrusters, you're now able to set off into the unknown galaxies of space. It's actually kind of cool. Oh, remember, always stay in your chair if you're going to try to propel your ship in some weird way. Otherwise, nothing's going to work for you. Or your ship might land in some random location or right outside of the planet. It doesn't really matter because mine's going to land right here. All I have to do is just press a button, bang, and it's going to come right back down to you. That's what the engine's for, right? thrusters you can turn in any way that you want to because that is just how it works and now that's your tutorial on how to make a spaceship I hope you all like the tutorial how to make a spaceship and I hope you make your own very own because their very own is the best